Howdy, Nidorinos! Hello friends! Welcome to a weekend vlog with me, Nerdmurger. It's been a long time since I've filmed a kind of vlog video, but I really like making these. And so I'm saving up money to get a new vlog camera that's got a little gimbal in it so I can film more here and when we go to Japan later in the year. So exciting! But today's just an average weekend for me, so I thought I would take you along for the ride. First of all, let's talk about the library, right? They opened a new library near me and it's flipping amazing. It's pristine and beautiful and I live in the city, right? So it's loud all the time all the time but that library was so peaceful and quiet and so I took home a pile of books this big big pile of comics and that's what I've been working on this week trying to get through those so I'll tell you a little bit about each book what I thought about each one Dux is about Kate's life living in the oil sands and working there it was really upsetting and a hard read but I'm glad I finally got to read it Crash Light was like a really offensive art book I'm not sure if I liked it but I love this guy's art styling but it was a bit too offensive for me. Mimosa is a comic all about queer relationships and friendships and trying to get a new club night for over 30s. Run Away With Me is about a lost relationship. They were in love with each other in high school and have now found each other again later in life. It was really sweet and I'm excited to read volume two. So now my makeup's all done and we're gonna go out and do what everyone does on the weekend is get groceries. And on the way we're gonna go to one of my favourite coffee shops, Hikari, and I'm gonna do a delicious decaf soy ice latte and I'm gonna drink that while I'm doing my grocery shop. The thing we're living in the city guys is you, there's no trolleys. Like I can't just like trolley things all the way back to my apartment and it's too heavy to carry all my groceries. So we get most of it delivered. But this morning we get like all fun stuff. We have to buy shredded ham for Liam and some treats for the cats and just delicious things to snack on while we watch movies today. Because it's going to be 33 degrees. In Australia that's like so hot you can fry an egg on one of those open barbecues. With no, not turned on. Just like it'll just cook. Right, it's so hot. So we're just going to stay home and watch movies. And that's something else I want to do this year, is talk to you more about the movies I watch. Because I don't know if you know this, but we watch movies every day. I watch one to two movies every day of my life. And I've done that for the whole time I've been with Liam. So like nearly 20 years. It's 20 years this year. Crazy, bro. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. first ever grocery haul because I love watching them. It's just going to be a little segment but I thought it would be fun to see how far $47.24 goes in Melbourne City. Hot tip, it's not far. Uh, I'm a vegan, Liam is gluten free so we have to buy a lot of like twofers. So Liam got this chicken breast and I got this delicious fries, I'm going to be more interested in my food, fries chicken and chicken pieces with piri piri on it. And we eat that with delicious Uncle Ben's rice. And we share one pouch. That's going to be lunch for like two days. And then as our delicious snacks for movie time watching, as I said, it's going to be like 33 degrees today. So we need delicious snacks. We got a quarter melon, which is a quarter of watermelon. And the greatest dip ever made sweet potato dip and spread from Chris's. It's vegan and gluten free, so we can both enjoy. But... As usual, we couldn't agree on the corn chips that we wanted. Liam's like, these corn chips are too salty. I want these ones. So, Liam being the princess that he is, we had to buy his own chips. These CCs that are gluten-free and a flavoured chilli and lime. And I got my own uh, Woolworths brand tortilla chips that he said were too salty and he didn't want them. Uh, and then we had to buy things because Liam, later in the week, we're going to make a zucchini slice, which is one of Liam's favourite things. So we got this shredded ham. Amber. And then we've got some delicious berries. We've got blueberries and raspberries. That costs nearly $50. That's ridiculous.
morning and happy Saturday. It is 9am and I'm arriving at the Fitzy Skate Ball. Meeting my friend Casey here. We're gonna skate and then afterwards we're gonna go to a flipping massive or you can eat vegan yum chop. It's gonna be a good day. You can watch me stack it in the Fitzy Ball because it is the worst skate ball. It is so sticky and has so many like paint coverings on it. And so you slip, you slip all the time. You can watch me just stack it over and over. What a good time for you. future editing Kaz coming in here to give you a little story about this skate session. Now as I'm putting on my skates here you will see the close-up of the bee on the ground with the stinger sitting upwards and yes you betcha I stood right on that bee as I was filming and it stung the middle of my foot and I was too scared to put my skates on for about 15 minutes after removing the bee literally sticking out of my foot and the stinger um, for fear of it swelling my foot up and having to get my skates cut off and so after 15 minutes it seemed my foot didn't swell too much and I was able to skate but let me tell you you don't want to start a skate session by stepping on a bumblebee thank you for your time me again so up there on the list of things you don't want to happen at the skate park including stepping on a bumblebee is a kid either snaking you on a scooter or a kid's skateboard flying into the bowl while you're dropping in and there's no way you can stop going forward it's a scary experience and uh, wasn't a fun time Just like that, the weekend is over. I'm about to head off for work. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me all weekend because I sure had a great weekend. You saw my terrible skating. We got some yum cha. We watched some movies. It was a good time. Hope you guys are well. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok here. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.